Well, I just pulled out of the driveway over here, and uh, Lord, this camera thing, light, oh, it's so bright in my eyes. But anyway, I'm going to do it anyways. This is a front two little interview before I go into the house from my driveway. Uh, what can I say about Biggie Surprise? It's already a dead product already. Uh, thanks, so anyway. I hope I'm wrong anyways, but I'm so disgusted with the whole thing, the whole situation. The lies, the innuendos, everything. Just, everything is uh, wrong from the get-go. And um, I'm very disappointed, actually. Uh, also upset. And it really, really makes me very, very uh, angry sometimes. Or, well, I'm not entirely angry, but yeah, probably a little bit jealous. Who knows? A turmoil of emotions going on. When I see all the TV reality shows that got these big breaks and you know, it really boils the hell out of me when I see this uh, ignoramus. Well, they might be good people, but, you know, people who never pursued an acting career or a career in entertainment getting this big push, and, you know, the swamp people with some old foggy or whatever the hell that guy is, you know, screaming, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Come on. And then you got this. Good lord, off, god awful TV reality shows hitting the airwaves on every channel there is. And, oh my god, it just. I'm just. Oh my god, I just. I get so aggravated just to think about that and just to think about. When, you know, I. Lords. When Robert and Tony and Mrs. Luan and Gina and, I and, and me and Marie and Dana and, you know. We all put in so much hours, too many hours, a lot of effort, a lot of uh, sacrifice in making the best we can out of this Big Easy Brides. And then, of course, Lord, when they put it on TV, they try to jump so much into such a tiny space, you know, 30 minutes uh, per episode or whatever. And then, and I mean, you know, three weddings in 30 minutes. Which was the opposite of Brasilis, who tend to drag and nag everywhere with the same. Well, well, we saw it yesterday, and then we saw it this day, and we saw it four days ago, and we saw it. We've been it for like almost a, almost a month. I want to get married! I want to get married! Lord, and then you had the Bishop Herbie Entertainment, Jason Herbie, saying, Oh, we're going to put you on the map. You're going to be big, 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 big. All right. We're going to put you on the map. The uncharted territory, possibly. Anywho, just venting. Just venting my frustrations. Once again, disappointed because of the fact that, you know, we so much sacrifice that we put into to make this product valid, to make it true, put up, to put up with all the shenanigans, to bring these amateurs to do stunt fights, to have Dino, you know, trying to help with the situation by, you know, creating the career, you know, the stunt choreography, stunt coordination and such, not charging an extra dime for that effort to put this, you know, stunts and such to a level that look credible, that, that, that brings some sort of real in, uh, reality into this without really getting anybody hurt. You know, the first quarter... Uh, chapel, they sustained several thousands of dollars of damage that, you know. Then, of course, the crew, one of the people, one of the camera people, you know, this lady got hurt in the process when some dumbass decided to lift Gino from the ground, not knowing no damn thing about stunts or nothing. And luckily, Gino, being trained uh, wrestler, you know, he, he handled the situation. But the warning was tossed. You know, if you want to make it real, then we'll make it real in a heartbeat. We'll start hurting people for real. If that's what you want. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on. I'm not going to rant anymore. It's just getting late. Anyways, it's already late. Uh, I hope somebody makes a decision to uh, let us know because each day and each night that passes by and just keeping us in the dark and fit us bullshit, you know, makes us feel like it's some kind of and the great mushrooms, you know. They had to laugh to make their money. They fed us some crumbs out of it. A few pennies on the dollar compared to what they made. And now they moved on and not tell us nothing. 
they should at least have the courtesy to let us know if they don't want big surprise anymore. Anyway, this is Wendy G. Kennedy, over and out. Ta-ta for now, bye.